Murphy's mom and mm, this is Murphy. So today I'm going to share with you my kitchen routine. Now I have a few kitchen routines. I have my morning kitchen routine where I quickly wipe out the sinks after I do the breakfast dishes and wipe down the countertop so the kitchen looks neat and tidy for the day. And then I have my evening kitchen routine where I clean out the sinks a little bit better, wipe down the faucets, wipe down the countertops, wipe down the table. And those two routines keep my kitchen pretty much under control. And my last routine is my weekly routine. And it's the one I'm going to share with you today. It's when I take everything off the countertops, wipe everything that's on the countertops down because I cook with a lot of butter and things can get greasy over time. So if I just give them a quick wipe or a quick wash out, everything's cleaner. And then I clean my sinks, I clean all the stainless steel, and most of all, I clean my refrigerator because I do a quick clean. I do not take it apart every week because I don't have time for that. But I do get it a quick wipe down, clean the main section. I don't always do the doors either because there's a lot of condiments in there. And as long as there's no spillage, I don't think I have to clean it every week. Now, there are things I add some weeks, like this week, I'm going to clean out the drain in my dishwasher because I haven't done it in a few weeks and it's gonna be gross. I don't always clean my burner um, things more than a, my burner grill things, my, you know, the things that go over the gas cooktop things, those thingies. I don't clean them every week because eh, I wipe them down. That's good enough. But some weeks I'll take them off and put them in the sink and soak them and get them really clean. But what I do do is I just touch on the kitchen once a week just so it's never overwhelming. Because before I started my routines, I would do a really good clean, take hours cleaning the kitchen because I had to get rid of all the clutter and all the stuff. And then I would be like, oh, it's clean. And I'm like, oh, I don't have to do this again. Uh, yeah, and I wouldn't do it for a while. And I'd end up in the same place as I was before. So it didn't work well for me. So now I find touching on my kitchen at least once a week makes the difference between having an overwhelming kitchen to clean or just doing a good thorough clean once in a while. So the first thing I have to do before I get started with anything else is I have to empty out my dishwasher. I ran it last night. I have dishes in it. I want to put the dishes that are from breakfast that need to go in the dishwasher and then I want to clean out my refrigerator. All that stuff, all of that stuff that has to go and get done. So let's get started. <laughs> Actually, before I empty the dishwasher, I just figured I'd give you a quick look at the kitchen. It's, it looks pretty good overall, but it's kind of messy and dirty and the countertops, some parts are clean, some have dirt on it. Up here is always a bit greasy. It's actually pretty good because you can't write your name in it too much, but I don't know if you can see, there's dirt up there and it happens. I only do this once a week. I don't go crazy. Like this week, I'm not pulling these out and putting them in the sink. I'm just gonna wipe them down. That's how I feel like doing it this week. I wash the stuff that I leave on the counter every week just because it gets like the top of my oven hood. There's a thin layer of grease and it builds up after a while. So I'm just going to tidy it up that way. I'll clean the stainless steel. As you can see, my dishwasher, yeah, it's not exactly clean. You can see all the fingerprints and stuff on it. It's it's better than it's been in the past. And I will wash my drainer because my dish drainer because I don't like like the water buildup on it. I just give it a quick wipe down. And that's it. Now, I'm not going to wash my brushes this week because today because I didn't put them in the dishwasher, but I do them at other times.
I'm done for today. As you can see, I'm sopping wet, so I have to go change after this. This is why I wear cleaning clothes, because if I don't, I am just, I can't go out in these clothes. They're too wet now. Anyway, I did the kitchen the best I could today. And that's my idea with routines. I try not to worry about doing it perfectly each time. Just get it done each time because this time I was able to do a deeper clean. It took twice as long because I was filming it, but I was, I did a, a pretty good clean. There are times when I'm just going through it in about 10, 15 minutes and that's going to have to do, but I do the best I can every time because there will be times I can't do it and that's okay. I've learned that and that's, and I'm living with that because a lot of times I used to be like, it has to be perfect or I'm not going to do it. Now I'm just like, I'll get it done. Anyway, it's as good as it's going to get. People can come in the house and I'm not embarrassed. And if I can't do it next week, I know it'll survive. Three weeks, eh, I'm really going for grime at that point, but that's okay. Anyway, I hope this was motivational for you because I enjoy making these because they motivate me to clean. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy it. If you like what you're seeing here, hit the like button. If you like more videos like this, hit subscribe. I'm Murphy's mom and Murphy's over there asleep. This is Murphy. She removed the chair. Bye for now.